As gun violence in Toronto continues to mount, this past weekend gave us a particularly stark example of how bad things are. Over a 72-hour period, 17 people were injured or shot in 14 separate shootings. The culprit, of course, is gang violence. We know this. This is the cause of most inner-city violence, in particular firearms violence, not something that can be blamed on law-abiding legal gun owners. But that would appear to be news to the gun control advocates insisting on blaming people like me and other Canadians who lawfully and safely hold firearms as being the problem when it comes to gun crime. The Toronto Star ran a story about this, about the opportunities that it says are missed in making the city safer. Quoted in this article is Wendy Sukier, the president of the Coalition for Gun Control and a professor at Ryerson University. She talked about the 17 people being injured and says it's a big number, but notes that we are lucky that the people doing the shooting were not better shooters, but that should not make us complacent in terms of the problem of the proliferation of firearms. It was an odd thing to say, to talk about being grateful that those involved weren't better shooters. Well, Ms. Sukier was only setting the stage for the real smackdown of her point, or what she thinks is that anyway, which is blaming gun owners for the problems. Let me quote directly from the article. Sukier, the Coalition for Gun Control president, said that legal gun owners tend to be more effective in killing people because they spend time at target practice or hunting. Quote, one of the terrible ironies is that when you see the proliferation of guns often associated with gang violence, you have lots of shootings, but fewer people are killed, perhaps because they don't spend hours and hours at the shooting range, unquote, she said. So the point, if you can try to find one in there, is that with law-abiding gun owners, you don't have shootings, but if you did, they would be better at killing people. But she concedes in there that the gang issues are the ones causing the problems. The gang incidents are the ones that aren't involving legal firearms. So this is, pardon the pun, an assault on law-abiding gun owners, saying that because someone is more adept at handling their firearm, they are somehow better at killing people, but ignoring the fact that that isn't happening, that law-abiding, lawful gun owners are not the ones killing people. They're not the ones that are causing problems. They're not the ones that are taking lives. This is not just some nutty person spouting off on the internet. This woman is the one that the media goes to as being the de facto voice, the expert opinion on gun stories as they arise in Canada. She's been called upon to testify before Parliament. Wendy Sukier is everywhere there is a microphone when it comes to a gun story, and the media and the government continue to give her this platform. But this quote reveals the disdain and dishonesty she has when it comes to the firearms owning community in Canada. That because I might have better aim than a gang shooter, I am somehow going to be more likely to kill someone. That's the inference she's making there, and it is just plain wrong. The stats time and time again reveal that law-abiding gun owners are statistically safer than even the unarmed general population. And that's because of the daily background checks that the Canadian Firearms Program subjects gun owners to. That's because of the background checks through which gun owners have gone to get their license. There is no reason to fear those who are carrying a possession and acquisition license in Canada, and anyone who says otherwise is lying to Canadians. The mainstream media may not be speaking the truth when it comes to gun laws in Canada, but I will, and True North is. We can't do this alone. We're an independent media company. We need the support of our donors because we don't have the big government checks coming to us. If you can join my Heritage Club for just a few dollars a month or even a one-time donation, please do. There's a link in the description box. You can head on over to tnc.news. Thanks so much. For True North, I'm Andrew Lawton.